So I'm gonna be honest real quick right now. I just spent like the past 30 minutes taking selfies of myself in this outfit in front of the mirror on my phone because I couldn't get it a good one. Oh, okay. So I just wanted to apologize first off for forgetting about the drugstore series I was doing on my channel back in like the summer. I think I got to college and I like totally forgot about it. Like totally forgot about it. This is not in the center. There we go. No you center. Welcome back to my channel love. Today's video is part of the drugstore series that I did on my channel a while back, you know, but I forgot about the bronzers. Who can forget bronzer? So anyways, that's what today's video is. It's my top drugstore bronzer. So if you are interested in that, then just keep on watching. We are going to start off with like my all-time favorite drugstore bronzer. This is the e.l.f. bronzing palette. Love this. Love it. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Mine's really, really, really beat up. Um, comes with a mirror, which is really nice. You can. This is actually a really good mirror. These two shades right here are matte shades, and then these two shades right here are shimmer shades. You get a little bit of both, whether you're a type of girl that likes a shimmery bronzer, or you're the type of the girl that that likes. <coughs> and I talk. Oh my god. Or you're the type of a girl. Oh my goodness. Or you're the type of girl that likes a matte bronzer. I personally like a matte bronzer just because I have a lot of texture on my skin and I feel like it doesn't enhance that texture more when it is a matte bronzer. So that's why I like a matte bronzer. This I think is $6 and you can find e.l.f. I think everywhere. I found mine at Walmart. This blends really nicely, um, doesn't leave any patchiness, nothing like that. Um, it's really affordable and I think it's like a dupe. I feel like this is definitely like a dupe for the... Um, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer because I just got that. I put the e.l.f. palette on one cheek and then the Too Faced on the other cheek and they kind of looked identical. There was a little slight difference but if you use the mattes in these and you mix them together um, it pretty much is like a dupe for that. So if you have that and you're looking for a cheaper alternative, this is your sucker. Love this e.l.f. palette. It's only $6. Recommend you getting it if you haven't tried it. And if you don't like it, you can return it. Next is the NYX Matte Bronzer. Um, I got this a while ago, and I have one of the darkest shades. Um, this does not work my skin tone anymore. I used this when I was orange back in my old videos. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely need to pick up a lighter shade of this because this is just a really nice bronzer. This is also a matte bronzer. Again, I feel like all my bronzers are matte, so if you like shimmery bronzers. Sorry, girl. This is really easy to blend out. It's really pigmented, so go in with a very, very light hand. And I just feel like it looks gorgeous on, like, my cheekbones. I use it to contour my nose sometimes. Um, it's just really pretty. I, like I said, I definitely need a lighter shade, but this one I use so much, I'm almost hitting pan right there. I don't know if you can see that. See the, see, like, the pan imprint? Yeah. Yeah. I found mine at Ulta, and I believe it's like $10, so it's pretty affordable compared to the other bronzers that are like $30 to $40 to $50. This works just like a high-end bronzer, and it's really cheap. Next up is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. This is more of a lighter shade bronzer that I, I can actually use now, but can you tell I love this? This is a waterproof bronzer, so you can wear this in the water and it won't, apparently won't come off. I've never tested that, but that would be interesting. And this is in the shade um, 22 Sun Bronze. I'm not sure if they have different shades of this. I feel like they don't, but don't hold me to that one. But this is also matte bronzer. Um, it does have, like, I feel like little, like, like the tiniest specks of, like, maybe shimmer in it. But it doesn't really show up on my skin tone personally. Um, I, it's not like a highlight in a bronzer, you know what I mean? Where it's like a shimmering bronzer. You can't really tell on your skin once you put it on. But this is also blends very beautifully. 
And this bronzer I found at Walmart, and I believe it's maybe, oh my god, maybe like 6 to $8. I haven't bought one of these in forever because it lasts a very long time. This bronzer lasted me forever. I feel like any person could use this because it's not too pigmented right when you dip your brush in. Like, you kind of have to build it up a little bit, but this is the perfect bronzer for, like, beginners or girls that are, like, scared of bronzer and it's like too intense sometimes this easily you can just apply just a little bit and blend it out and it will look gorgeous next up is the Neutrogena healthy skin natural radiance bronzer this is like a four colored bronzer all in one um it's kind of reminds me actually actually give me a minute give me a minute do you see the four shades kind of similar to the e.l.f. one in a way like this shade up here is similar to this shade um yeah that's cool I never thought of that but with this one I really just mix them all around just because they're too small to like just get one tiny color but I feel like when you mix them all together it creates that perfect bronzed like just sun-kissed color to your face this one does have a little hint of orange in it if you go in with too heavy of a hand but if you go in with a light hand and then blend it out with like blush or something it looks gorgeous it looks like you literally just came back from cancun on a vacation this one doesn't really have shimmer either it's very matte but it blends gorgeously and it's super cheap you can find this at i think any um drugstore and i think you can find it at alta i believe and i think this is like six dollars maybe Oh, I'm literally just guessing I need to start looking this stuff up, don't I, guys? Okay, and the last bronzer that I'm going to talk about is, like, a contour palette. It's not necessarily for just bronzing. You could use this for multiple things. But this is the Koki Powder Contour Palette. This shade in the middle right here you can use as a bronzer if you are really light in skin tone. Um, I think it's a gorgeous color. This you can use as a contour. This is just a little too deep for me. I feel like I would just look like a muddy mess if I use this shade. So I technically just go after these two shades. But this would be stunning. Stunning on a girl that is just really light skinned. Um, these blend very easily. They're all matte. There's like no shimmer really. This also comes with a mirror which is really nice. And it's just really big pans and for the price I feel like it's totally worth it because if you're into like setting your concealer with these light shades then you get a universal product all in one you know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what your favorite bronzer is at the moment and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Oh I forgot to let you guys know before you leave subscribe to join the S squad. Okay.